have to uncle first. Let me start off manage that guitar group pretty cool, and I'm going to do general dynamics. So we'll talk about this company and what they're about. Bear with me. Uh, it's an overview of the company right here. They are a defense con. They are a uh, defense contractor, like a person that has a contract with the government to produce materials. So they're like the fifth largest defense contract in the world. They're over six continents, over 40 countries. They're big. All right, this is their broken down into aerospace, you see combat systems, the information systems, technology, and marine systems. What I'm going to do is just focus on information systems technology. The other ones, if you want to talk about that, go read a book, find that out. I don't know. So we're just going to focus on the third one. So the history of the company, they were 452. They had a couple of CEOs. The guy that came with the name Hopkins, it was electric boat. They purchased Canada Air, and he said that name, electric boat, don't make sense. So I'm going to change the general dynamics. So imagine it's electric boat today. They build contracts to build electric. So they changed their name to general dynamics. So this is a little history here. You guys read it. Feel it. Just think about it. We talk about more stuff. So this is the history of it. All right. Next slide. All right. I picked security engineer duties. I'm not an engineer, I don't know. This is what I saw in a deep, you know, through my search, what they do. So they deploy, they scale up with networks, uh, they maintain logs, you know, do dashboards. So this is basically what they do now. They could do more things. I don't know about it, but I tried to inquire about it and they couldn't let me in. So this is what they this is what I have on it for them. So this is what I'm going to focus on. This is my process on it right here. All right. Based on, based on that title, this is what I got, you know, process owner in the book. This is what a security owner does. So the applications, the software components, these are the things that they have to be, like, proficient in. So with those listed, I created a, a little matrix about this about all this. It doesn't list all of them, but these are the attributes that the security owner, that security engineer must have. Now they must have, they could have, this book was written maybe this year, but they could add more things, but this is what they have right here. You guys, you guys know what it is. You read it, feel it. Next slide. All right. Availability. I don't got a graph. I don't know if it's high or low. But when I got here, it's, I, it took me a while to figure, since they weren't, I didn't get no help. I just tried to go through that side. This is what I got. They have, you know, the DI is Defense Intelligence Agency, which deals with the military. So they have to be 24 hour supervision. Basically, they have to be at least 24 7, 365. They have to be available. They can't be off. Because I was thinking about the five nines and the four nines. And I, when I, found that and put it here, I said, man, they, that doesn't encompass what they have. So with that, this is what they have, you know, operations, supervision, and now most of this lingo, I can understand. If you can't understand it, just realize that this is the military, so they have the best, you know, technology around them. They're like on the NSA almost, so they're, they're going to be like them, but they build things and stuff. So this is just the information side. This is the availability here. Uh, what was the capacity process? Uh, this is 15 operations. They serve, since it's over six continents, they encompass so much. They, the, the, the net value they have is $9.5 billion net sales, net income. So they have a lot of, you know, they get a lot of money income by selling. Uh, military stuff, and this is the process that I was able to get gain from that site. I, you know, I'm not too, I don't know if they added more things, but if you read it here, they just, this is what I was able to gain from this thing. So most of this I can try to discern. So I can see that it, they deal with it in the millions. So this is the capacity process. Yeah, so you guys, you guys just try to think about it, see 
if it makes any sense, but it's just what I would do. All right, before Ms. Tooley now, I, this is what I was able to gain from that. Uh, I, I, I wanted to, like, when I'm doing stuff like this, I wanted to see what this, if the security person, if he, I believe he's doing like this monitoring the system, but the logs that you saw before, he's doing this, the data, he's, but they could change over time. So this was able to gain from their, from their website, what they had here. Uh, now, if you look at it, if you like, this thing, I think the independent, when they, it's dealing with outside companies, outside places. So I don't know if that security guy is still doing that, maybe his bosses, but I believe that he's doing the, the, the project of see all these the, the sensors right here. And the order, I don't know if order and title for these, they are, not maybe a consultant, but just some of what they were doing here. So I can mark. Well, this is the tools I think they use. I'm not an expert, you know. You know, the one that the professor mentioned, the Wireshark, I think you have to be good at that. The Backtrack, the True Crypt, and the, you know, Microsoft. I think this is the good I, I, I think they use something more advanced than what you see here. This is just stuff that you you, you may get. So if you, if, if I'm able to gain more information from that, I'll let y'all know. But this is the, they get, they need to know this, but this is the government. And they know stuff at more advanced than these tools. These are tools that I was able to pull from this security guy. So this is the matrix I made based on what the process I listed. The it's hard to see it. The first one is knowledge of applications, <coughs> low, performance medium, and then packets medium. The second one is knowledge of system software and components. TL3 is high, so it means more of the system and the components that are connected to it. Notice that one is high. The network software components is straight high, so you need to know the network and the software. You need to have a knowledge <coughs> of that. The next one. Sorry for it, but is the ability to think and plan strategically. If your ability, I think, is low, the performance you know, uh, is not good, but it's high capacity. So that way, <coughs> I think you have to be able to problem solve and think of a way to solve that um, problem. So that's just that. The next one is knowledge of software. These are these, um, this is almost the same as those. So this is configuration, configure the software so you see it's medium, high, high. Well, I'm just so you can explain that. And the next one, hardware, just like before, network, but this is dealing with stuff you connected, it was medium, high, and, and good thing, act, tactical, it's almost the same as strategic to me. So this is the military, you need to have that brain power. So that is what I was created from here. I wish that I had a graph, but I like graphs, tables, and Tables don't really, they just show you tools and all this stuff. So, this is the process I have for the tool here on the matrix. Now, these references, we done, man. <laughs> all right, see y'all.